Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to RV360 by National Indoor RV Centers, where we have all the details on the latest coaches. NIRVC is a trusted resource with RV lifestyle specialists who are here to help you find your dream coach. NIRVC also supports you well after the sale with storage, service, and detailing. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to introduce the 2025 Patriot by Midwest Automotive Designs. This floor plan that we're going to be doing today is the MD4. So this really is your family recreational vehicle that you can take to the tournaments on the weekend or go out with your friends. You've got a bathroom, you've got a sleeping area. So you've got the camping side of it. You've got just the comfort side of it. So it's really like the Escalade killer. This is gonna be a lot of fun for you and your family and friends to use for all sorts of occasions. Now, I love doing these videos. I think they really help when you're researching a vehicle and what's gonna be best for your family. Um, make sure that you comment below and let me know uh, what you'd like to see more of, what you liked on this Patriot as we go around, and then make sure no matter what you do, that once you're ready to shop or ready, ready to dig more into that research that you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers so that I can hook you up with one of our RV lifestyle specialists so we can go over all the options that are available. Now this Patriot is pretty much fully loaded. So I'll try to point out those things that are optional, um, but just know to have the full picture, make sure you talk to one of our RV lifestyle specialists at National Indoor RV Centers. All right, so we're gonna start at the very top. We've got the antenna for our radio. Then we have our beautiful windshield. That's how you're gonna see the beautiful countryside as you travel comfortably in your Patriot. Now, right at the top, you've got the built-in camera that comes from Mercedes. That's gonna help with your adaptive cruise control, um, your rain sensing windshield wipers. And then we come down, we've got our windshield wipers. Beautiful, this is the Arctic white exterior. And pretty much as far as paint colors go, uh, with, with uh, Midwest Automotive Designs, you can pick whatever color you want, pretty much. They can do it. We can special in a paint color for you. So if you've got those tricky colors you wanna match, your Patriot to something else, we can help you with that. Then one of the things that they do um, at Midwest Automotive Designs is they paint that front grille. So I think it just looks really beautiful. It gives it that nice like high-end look. Then below here, we've got our step up. So if we need to clean that beautiful windshield, uh, you're just gonna step up here. That way you can reach the windshield. And we've got another camera here. That's gonna give you uh, your front camera. We've got a rear camera. You're gonna have four cameras that you're gonna be able to see in the driver's seat. Um, so I'll show you that when we get inside, but you're really gonna love that. Now, right here, there's a little panel. Behind that is a hook. Basically, if you get stuck and you need a winch to pull you out, that's what you're gonna do. And then we've added the optional um, spoiler here on the front, which just really gives it that beautiful high-end look. Mercedes comes with the beautiful LED headlights. We've got the little um, eyelash there that's your daytime running light. And then you've got smart lights so that they don't blind oncoming traffic and our fog light below. Then you'll notice that we have the parking sensors across the front and rear of the, the van. All right, so let's cover everything under the hood here. First, I want to talk about this right here. This is your VB Air Ride out of the Netherlands. This is the first approved Air, airline system for a sprinter. So this is an optional item. If you don't get this, you're gonna get the Sumo Springs. So that's really cool. This is where you could do a manual fill right here. Now we've got a empty area in it there. A lot of times that's where a battery used to go. Doesn't go there now, so we've got some free space. We've got our ground right here. And then this is where you would jump if you had to jump the van. Power steering fluid, windshield wiper fill, oil fill, and you're gonna get a reading at the dash for both your oil and your um, DEF, so you don't actually have a dipstick here. And then we've got our air intake, coolant, and our DEF. So a DEF, that's your diesel exhaust fluid. Make sure that you realize that it has a, a shelf life. It's good for about a year. It doesn't like heat, it doesn't like sunlight. So just make sure you're always putting good DEF in your tank or you're gonna throw some engine quotes. But again, you'll have a reading for your level on that inside the van. 
So the MD4 that we're showing off here today has the new motor. So it's a four cylinder high out output diesel motor replacing the V6 has the um, dual stage turbo. So you're gonna get 2% more torque and 10% more horsepower. So it's huge and it's a game changer and it's also quieter than the V6 as well. So this one here has the new motor and rear wheel drive. Um, you can also get the new motor with the all wheel drive. We have the aluminum wheels with the extra added chrome finish. So they look nice and bright. We love that. Then our blind spot monitor for the passenger side of the van and camera. And then we have our side mirrors with our turn signal in them and our blind spot monitor assist. So when you're driving, something's in your blind spot, you're gonna get that little triangle to give you a warning. And these are also heated and internally controlled. So you'll notice all the beautiful skirting, the steps, uh, even the trim piece. So if you watch my factory tour video, I show how when they bring in the raw chassis, they take off all the cladding or trim and then they paint that. And Midwest likes a really stately looking van. So everything looks nice, crisp, clean, and they paint both sides of that. So you're never gonna have any peeling. So when they put that all back in, it just looks beautiful. I love that we've got the nice lights. They look like little sleepy eyes. So you can safely get in and out of your van. Then we have the exhaust for your van and our 110 outlets here. So if you need to plug in anything outside, you can easily do that. And then one of the features that I absolutely love, this is new for 2025, is the sliding window. So before they've always had the window that lifts up. So you can't have that open when you're going down the road. This way, if you wanna have a little fresh air as you're going down the road, um, you can just slide that open and it just looks really nice, sleek, beautiful. Um, love the exterior look of the Patriot. Another thing that contributes to that sleek, beautiful, bright look is the fact that they paint their awning to match the rest of the exterior color. Also, they paint the top of the air conditioning unit, so that's white. It just makes it look really nice. And then we've got our great awning, patio light, and those are controlled just inside the door. So right inside the door, we have one of our three Firefly panels where we can control the awnings and the lights. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring our awning out. I've also got the light on on the awning and you can stop it at any point or we can extend it the full length of the awning. So we do have a wind sensor on our awning. Now, one of the things I always like to tell um, our guests is that I never recommend leaving your awning out if you're not actively outside around your van. Um, you just never know when a big gust of wind may come and, and pull that up. So a little wind will be fine and it will pull it back in, but to be safe, make sure you're outside when you've got your awning out. Now I can also turn my lights on and off from here. The awning does have a shake sensor on it. So I'm going to just demonstrate that, kind of give it a good little push here as if acting like a big gust of wind and There we go. <laughs> Third time's the term. <laughs> but I do always recommend that if you are using your awning, that you're outside in the vicinity of the area. In case of big gust of wind, I guess, you know, I'm from Texas, so we have crazy weather that will come in. And um, just to be safe, I'm usually around, but usually that big gust of wind will retract the awning. Also want to mention the really nice heavy duty screen door. So this is made by Phantom and it's got three slide tracks. So up top, middle, and at the bottom, so it's sturdy. So no matter where you pull it from, it's going to slide straight, nice, sturdy, tight clothes, and also pet friendly. So it's strong enough if your pets are up there scratching to get out, it's going to withstand that. Here at the back of the van, at the very top, we've got our over-the-air antenna. And then right below that, you're gonna see another little camera. So you've got the rear camera up top, that's for Mercedes, and then we have the additional camera that's gonna give you that extra view at the dash. Nice big windows. And then we've got our tow hitch, 5,000 pound tow hitch with our attachment there for our, for our brake lights. And then we've got our sensors here for parking. Some cool things here inside the van. So first of all, our doors open up nice and wide so you can really have full access to everything here you've got little pockets cargo area there for storage 
on either side. And then what I really love is this pass through area. So if you have, you know, a paddleboard or um, possibly even a bike, there's you can really use that space well because they've left the open, the middle space open. So over here, behind here, we've got our timberline system, which is going to be our diesel um, heat, water heater, and furnace. And then we've got seat belts for three in the back. And then we have our fuses here. And then even bigger deal is something that I think Patriot's the only one that does this. They've got the pass-through storage up top. So that came from Voice of the Customer. Uh, they were at shows. They were seeing that a lot of the customers were taking off that panel. So they just removed it. Now you've got that pass-through area, really easy to get your goods. And when the doors are shut, it's gonna keep everything contained in that area. Also down here, this comes with a full sound system. So not just a sound bar, you've got your subwoofer here. It also has the amplifier, four speakers, all from Alpine. So a really nice sound system, not just sound bar. So underneath this pass-through storage area, we have our two speakers, our light, and then this is really cool. This becomes your wardrobe. So you can put your bed down and you can hang clothes here and here. The other thing I love is that if you're out camping or you're backed up to the ocean or a lake and you want to get that fresh air up in the mountains, you can easily just pull the screen down here and now you can sleep with that beautiful mountain breeze. Now to the driver's side of the van. So the first thing that we see is our exhaust here for our Timberline system. Again, that's your diesel um, on-demand hot water and furnace for the van and then our 30 amp hookup for our shore power cord. So we come along here, we're gonna notice that we've got the sliding window um, on the driver's side, so you can have that nice cross breeze um, if you wanna have your windows open to inside. And then you'll, I just want you to notice how sleek and nice this looks. There's not cutouts all along the side of the van. We're gonna have our cutout here just for our wet bay area, but other than that, it looks absolutely beautiful. Beautiful skirting. So I'm just gonna open up the wet bay here. So here is the hookup for the external shower and they give us a nice shower head with the just different jet, mist, flat, all the different sprays. And you just hook that up right in the center here, twist it on, and then you've got your hot and your cold, which is really nice. We have our freshwater connect and then our black tank rinse and our gray tank rinse. And then we've got the controls here for whether we're hooked up to city water or fresh water. Now this comes with the macerator. Very few um, high-end class B vans have a macerator system and it has the auto uh, retract reel. So that's a big bonus as well. Here we've got our waste pump control there, our cable inlet and then our black tank valve and our gray tank valve. Your tank sizes on this are 27 for your fresh water, 24 for your gray, and 14 for your black tank. So if you're like me, you're probably wondering what the little shark-like fins are on the top of this van. Well, it actually came from you, the customer. So Midwest Automotive Designs went to one of their first big rallies um, with Carl. And um, as they were walking around, they were seeing all these fins on the tops of the roof lines. And what they, what they are, they're called the cyclone vent fans. So what was happening, you've got the, the vent there for your gray tank and your black tank. And some of, when the wind would come along, it would suck that wind down. And then it would push that into the toilet, which then made your van not smell very good inside. So a solution were the cyclone vents, you just put those on directs the wind away and actually pulls some of that air out. So you have a nice smelling van inside. So uh, Midwest just went ahead and put those onto the factory, which is great for you, the customer, because they're installed, factory installed. Right in the middle of that, you'll see a little round black vent. That's the vent for your shower. And then again, just notice that you've got the painted air conditioning unit that matches the rest of the van. As I open the front door here, We've got the access point for our diesel fuel tank, 24 gallon diesel fuel tank. That's where your fill is. And then you'll also notice that right underneath the seat covers here, and just look at this. 
Again, Midwest takes all the interior. It matches front to back, even in the side doors. Like they just have all the nice finishing touches that look so nice. So underneath this seat here, we've got our fuses for the front part of the coach. You can just easily access that there. And then your chassis battery is right under the front mat. And our final camera and blind spot monitor for the driver's side of the coach. I am sure you're as excited as I am to see the inside of the Patriot. So let's go in. Welcome to the beautiful interior of the MD4. So MD4 means you've got four captain's chairs up here. You've got seating for seven, seat belts for seven. You also have the child um, tethers here in the front captain seats as well. So this is really, like I said, for the family, for you and your friends, you've got the kitchen, you've got the bathroom. And then if you wanna take it out camping, go for a long weekend, um, this really covers all the bases. So it's just wonderful. With the uh, MD4, you get the 32 inch Samsung TV, smart TV. The TV is built in this beautiful cabinet here, nicely finished, angled, so you've got a great um, view from it from the very back of the coach. And then National Indoor RV Centers has optioned in the um, wireless internet package and Apple TV. So we, that, we put that on most of our vans. Again, get with one of our RV lifestyle specialists to make sure you get all the options and features that you want in yours. So love this nice, great picture. Look at that beautiful screensaver. And then again, we've got the audio package. So we've got the four speakers, two up front, two in the rear. Really beautiful finish. This is what you get with the Hydrograph process, which you can see in my factory tour video. This is the Denali satin finish just love that and then we've got the nice hinges here and then look the inside of the compartment is lined with the ultra leather and padded just like it is throughout the coach so very high-end look because all of your wood is wrapped like this from your dash to the back of the coach same with the ultra leather it match matches from the dash to the back of the coach so I've turned the captain's chairs around so you can see that you can angle the captain's chairs. You can also rotate and angle the chairs right behind the captain's chairs. So it gives you a nice little seating area, drinks for four, um, really comfortable chairs, just, you know, a great little setup for you and your friends. So one of the things that really sets Midwest apart is this beautiful stitch. So they've got the padded diamond stitch. Um, this is the white on white, so the double stitch white stitching with the white leather looks so beautiful. And you can do lots of different combinations. So again, just let us know if there's something that you wanna change. Um, but I just love that, very custom to Midwest. Then you're gonna look at the finishing touches. Again, the wood grain look here, and then look at how they finish out their windows. So very automotive. Um, with the nice window sill here. Um, automotive, that's what I like to say, automotive quality throughout. Cup holder, two uh, USB charging ports, two 110 outlets, and a nice little cubby for storage there. Then on the seat, I wanted to also point out that these are heated. How nice is that? Well, I love a heated seat because my husband and I can never do um, agree on the temperature so that always gives me a little extra heat i love that and then they rotate also you can option in the massage feature as well on your captain's chairs and on the chairs here behind the captain seats so lots of options really luxury features for this van so on the door here itself we've got a little push button control so i can easily open and shut the door from that button of course, I showed you the nice screen door and it's got nice handles for when you want that screen door open that you can pull it over and it locks in right here. We've got the control, the handle here to unlock the door and open manually. And then you've got your emergency exit um, right here for if you don't need the power door. We've also got our nice little shade here. So just easy up and down to have that nice big window while you're sitting here enjoying your drinks or if you'd like a little privacy just shut it like that so nice and easy so here we have our control center for the coach 
the very beginning here we've got the Victron system, which is gonna give you the battery levels, a visual battery level for your batteries. Um, you're also gonna have that on the panel as well, but this is gonna tell you in volts what you have left, so nice there. Then this is one of three of your touch pads, your Firefly pads for the van. So you have one at the dash, one here midship, and then one in the rear of the coach. So we're on the home page here. We've got the master light switch on and off, our awning light switch, and our port light, porch light switch. Then it's giving us our levels of our tank, so our fresh tank, gray and black. We can turn on our tank heaters here and our water pump here, and then it's giving us our battery levels here. So our house batteries and our chassis batteries. Then we go to our lights. So here's our master on and off, our master on and off for the exterior. We can go a day mode and then a night mode, and then our front reading light, rear reading light, accent lights, galley lights, porch light, and awning. Then we have our electrical panel. So this is gonna show us uh, what we are plugged into right now. We're on shore power, and then that's going to the breaker box, the inverter, and charging our house batteries. It's also gonna give us our inverter charger settings, our pass-through, what kind of charge we're in, and we're in a float charge. Now, I did want to mention that this uh, van, we have optioned in the Freedom Lithium Battery Package. So that does a few things for you. First of all, you get a 3000 watt inverter, you get four um, Dragonfly batteries, and they are otherwise known as Battleborn, you may know that name better, so four, each is 270 amp hours, giving you 1,080 amp hours, or in other words, 13,000 watts of uh, battery power. So um, you're probably wondering how you charge those batteries. Um, best way to do that is when you're driving the van, that will charge it the fastest. You can also use your solar panel, so that's what I was gonna go to next. So it'll let you know what you're bringing in on solar. You've got two solar panels that equal 320 amps with the Freedom Package, otherwise you would have 200 watt solar panels without the Freedom Package. So they also charge for solo, obviously when you're plugged into shore power, but again, the best way to do it, charge them the quickest is by driving it, and that will take you know three to four hours to be fully charged. So say you go to a resort one night, you um, want to run your AC, use your microwave, you can do all that um, overnight, and then when you get up and go in the morning, you can, you know, you'll start charging them again. You've got about 10 to 13 hours, depending on how you're using the batteries, just like with your cell phone. Um, all depends on how many apps you're using, how many things are open, as to how much you're um, using that, the battery power. Um, also, the batteries are, they're gonna protect themselves, so you never want to totally drain a lithium batteries. So each battery pack has a battery management system. It's not gonna let it go below 20%. Here we have our internet control, so we can turn our um, wireless internet on and off right here, and then we can extend and retract our awnings, and we can uh, recline our sofa, so just super easy. I push that down here, you can see that it's gonna easily make our bed. And then I just pull out another little platform there and bring those cushions together to make the full bed. But I'll show you that. Um, take our sofa back up. It's just so easy. You can also put a little um, incline on it so it's nice and comfy. Next up is our settings page. So we've got our network diagnostics, our mobile app. Now this is where you can put pair your phone um, to the mobile app. So you download the Eclipse app and then you pair it here. Now this is for cellular, which is huge. So you do have to have a SIM card for your cellular service, but this is a game changer because now you could, you know, leave your furry friends here um, and then monitor the coach and make sure they're safe while you're away as far as temperature and everything goes with that app. So that's really a big game changer here. Then we have the screen brightness, so you can adjust that if you want that a little brighter or dimmer. Auto dimming and then cleaning mode will allow you to hit that and then you can wipe this off without um, engaging any of the, the functions here on this. So really great. Then we have our battery disconnect. So if we wanna turn everything off, we just hit the battery disconnect. And then this is really cool. So um, 
Midwest is the only one that does this to my knowledge. So they have a fridge button. So basically I can disconnect my batteries. I can keep my fridge on. So say you're leaving your van for three days while you go on a little mini cruise or an excursion, but you don't want all your food to spoil. So you can leave that on, um, put it on a fridge mode and you're gonna be good to go. So nice feature there that Midwest has given us. Let's head into the galley kitchen area. So we've got a nice solid surface countertop with the accent lighting and pretty much you can pick any color under the rainbow, rainbow to go in here. So that's kind of a fun little ad that they give you. Now up top, again, you're gonna notice the beautiful wood cabinetry matches everything and soft finish inside. We have our microwave oven. And then down below, we've got our two burner. So it used to just be one. Now we have two burner induction cooktop, which is really nice. So you just need a pan that a magnet will attach to the bottom. I think everyone almost knows that now, but I always say it just in case you're new to induction cooking, they heat up really quickly. You'll love it. And then you also have a nice big window here behind your induction cooktop. And it's just a pull shade that you open and shut. So really easy, easy residential faucets. And then look, we have a nice big deep sink, stainless steel square sink, and you can actually get like a full plate, a bowl in there. So nice size there. Then we've got our flip, flip down uh, compartment here and our drawers. Notice that we've got the dovetail, dovetail finish on the side of the drawers there. So high quality. Lots of storage here in the kitchen. Then we have our refrigerator. So it's 12 volt to 12 volt, nice and big with our freezer there up top. And then more storage. And I love this. So if you know me, if you watch my videos, I love a place for the garbage. So they've got a little spot where you can put a garbage can there. Really nice and convenient, easy to get to. And then right just off the counter, the edge, we've got two 110 outlets so that you can easily plug in your toaster, your coffee pot, whatever you need. So here is another optional feature. You can do the beaded glass door, which looks really pretty. Also get, makes it feel like it's a little bit bigger inside the bathroom. Um, or if you don't do the, the glass door, then you'll just have another wood door just like this. Now both sides do open up, so you can easily open that up and then lock it. So you step into the bathroom, you've got your fan overhead, nice lighting. You also have a clothesline that you can take across so that you can hook in right there and dry all your clothes. And there's a spot here for a shower curtain. We haven't hooked that up here, but it's right here in the sink. So you can put a shower curtain across to give you more privacy. Then we've got our pedal control porcelain toilet and our bamboo uh, drain cover. And then we have our sink here. So this is gonna be the faucet for our shower. We can use the handheld wand or just put it up here. So that's really nice. And then you've also got your sink here with your faucet spot for your toilet paper. Great little bathroom. So again, attention to detail, beautiful cover that matches all the other wood for the Max Air Vent fan here and then we've got the manual controls or we've got the power controls here and then they're right next to the light control for the bathroom. So right above me is another game changer and I mean it when I say that. So this is the Gree AC unit 15,000 BTU with the lithium um, batteries in this coach that will run 10 hours. So I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It's so quiet. Um, can't tell you what a difference this makes. I'm actually going to turn it on so you can see. Also, we can have the option of having the air sh um, shoot out straight or we can have the oscillating so it goes up and down. But this right here is something that you are going to love. So I'm just going to turn it on. So nice and quiet. And then you can also change these. So we've got it shooting out here. You can turn on the swing here and then they'll become oscillating. So they'll go up and down, but it's just the quiet is, it's amazing. 
and then you can lock it into place too if you just want to keep it shooting down. Great. Our first compartment here in the back. Now you can use this as a wardrobe. It's got a hanging bar. Um, it also could be a big pantry if you needed the extra space. And there's a great mirror right here so that you can check out your outfit, your makeup. I like that. And then inside this door as well is our um, access to service, um, our control panel basically. It's nicely labeled here and very accessible for service. So let's check out the rest of the storage here in the back. Nice big compartments. Again, those great hinges, padded. So you're not gonna have rattling and that's gonna make it really nice and quiet. Then my favorite, I showed you this from outside, but I love that this is a pass-through compartment. So you can access all your goods from outside or inside, and it really makes that cabinet nice and big and deep. And then one more upper cabinet here. So above here on the ceiling, we've got our LED lighting, our smoke alarm, and then down here, we've got our CO2 alarm. All right, so right here, we've got three little things. We've got our thermistor that's gonna communicate with um, our thermostat to make sure we keep this nice and com comfortable. This is Elwell that's gonna communicate with the Timberline system. So your Timberline system is your on-demand hot water and your diesel furnace. You've got two different heating elements, your diesel element, your furnace, and then you've got your shore power. So when you have that on, um, this will only work when you are plugged into shore power. Now here, if we turn this on, we can set the temperature, just move that around easily. If you wanna make sure that you have a really nice warm shower, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and turn that on and that will start and you'll have you know warm water for 30 minutes. So um, and turn that and then you've got your diagnostics here. So you've got your fan speed, your clock, service information, limitation of heating duration. So if you want it to stay warm for six hours, you can set that right there. If you want it to go for days, you can move that all the way to just where it will stay on all the time to infinity. But we're gonna go ahead and take that back. So really easy to use, great system, and then your brightness and your sleep mode screen. So I've installed the lagoon tables, you can see how multi-use this is it's super easy you can have it here for person sitting here for the back row here slide it over to the side really easy to use and just you know flip it however works best for for your needs at the time so super easy it's stored um, behind the rear captain seat behind the drivers that captain seat in front of the bathroom it stores right there and then you just easily unscrew here you're going to pop off the top okay and then set that just flip it upside down here and then you're going to do the same here loosen the so it slides right out so you can adjust the height of that table as well slide it in place so just tighten it so it won't fall off lock it in and then you can take it, put it back in the bag and put it behind the chair. So here from the back comfy sofa, which turns into your bed, you have another Firefly control panel, which is really nice. So dash midship in here, you can do your master lights on and off, your reading lights, your front and your rear, your accent lights, galley lights. This is where we can incline and recline the sofa. So if I wanna just sit back and make it a little bit more comfy, you know, so I can recline and just, you know, chill out, watch a show, you can do that easily from here. And then you've got the reading for your house batteries and your chassis batteries. And then your setting buttons, so you can adjust the screen brightness, um, auto dimming, so once you're asleep, you probably don't want that screen lit up, you can control that right there. Right next to it, we've got two USB outlets, cup holder here, and then to this side, we've got another cup holder there. And then I also wanna make sure that you get to see these sliding windows so they open super easy you just flip that down right there and slide them open now you've got that fresh breeze cross breeze coming in the van so here at the back of the coach we've got the 24 inch lg tv again that's a smart tv with apple tv we've added that option and then we've got the two 110 outlets the hdmi input 
and the USB charging port and our radio. And then again, we have the nice surround system here, four speakers, amplifier and subwoofer. So you have a really, really nice sound system. The other bonus of this TV is that you can rotate it. You can just unlock it here. So if you want to turn it around so that you can you know, kind of watch from this location, you know, just make it the best viewing possible for your guests. You can do that here. And then of course we've got the other TV up front for our front guests. So nice big bed. You can see that I've already got the sofa reclined into the bed. And then I'm just going to grab the extra piece here underneath the seat. And I'll put that right there to give us our, the rest of our bed be base. And then I just take the cushions and hook them there and hook here. And typically what I like to do when they're tight like this is just pull them together, make a little, um, you know, V here and push them in and you can see your nice, big, comfy bed. All right, finally to the cockpit area. First of all, let's go over the seats. Again, Midwest takes all the, the liners off the seats, puts their own custom upholstery on, makes them look really nice. And then we've got our lumbar support here, so we can adjust that till it's just perfect. Then we have the control here right in front that you move to rotate the seat. And then over to the side, I've got the control for my air suspension. So it's gonna be in auto mode while I'm driving. It's gonna automatically function. Um, but then this can act like an air auto leveling package once you're in the campground. So you can adjust the air up and down, the front and the rear. Uh, this is, again is the VB air suspension system. And then finally, We've opted in the massage feature for the chairs. So you've got zone one, two, and three. You can select pulse, wave, zigzag. The power is right there. Really nice, plus they fit really nicely next to the seat so you don't really um, activate them as you walk by. And here is your parking brake. All right, so here at the door, again, we've got the nice um, hydrograph, grafting on the um, door handle, the custom upholstery as well, just to give it that high-end look. Everything looks like it belongs in the van together. Then we've got the window controls here and our mirror controls for our exterior mirrors. Now here we have uh, the memory settings for the seats. So you've got three memory settings. I usually have driver one, driver two, and then usually three I'll make the memory setting for when I rotate the chair around because you usually have to bring it up and back and everything. So that makes it a little bit easier. So to set your memory setting, just press the M and the one together. When you hear the beep, then they will automatically go back to that setting. So it's really easy. And you can adjust the seat here to get it in the perfect position before you do that memory setting. Here's the heated seat button and then the unlock and lock. Nice compartment here for miscellaneous items, another drink container and more storage there below. So we have the latch here to pop the front hood. Then going up, we've got our light controls. So our running lights, auto lights, headlights, and then our fog lights. And then this will dim the lighting here on your control panel when it's turned on. So here is your turn signal control up and down, and then you can flash your headlights. You also have your windshield wiper controls. Remember you have the rain sensing windshield wipers, so you can just leave them in auto and they'll work all on their own. And the windshield wiper fluid is actually inside of the windshield wiper, which is really cool. So we have nine gears now with the four cylinder dual turbo engine, so we can shift right here from the paddle controls very easily. Then here on the steering column, we've got our home button. So we can scroll through the information right here. Click into anything, we want to answer a phone call, go back, settings, and we can do all that right here. If you are a Mercedes owner already, this is gonna be very familiar to you and very easy to use. So I'm gonna click into the service button and we can scroll through, the, there's no messages. We can see our DEF level right here. 
our assist, so we need service in 504 days. Our engine oil level. Particulate filter. Then we can go to our drive assist. So you can see your following distance here. So we've got our trip information. This is the miles left till empty. Our current consumption. Um, our driving habits. And then our trip one and trip two. Go to your navigation radio, media, phone, and then settings. This is where you go to your vehicle settings. This is where you can adjust your rain, um, your windshield wipers, rain sensitivity, and your display. So this is where you can decide what you want to have up on your display. And I like to have that on my display always. So we're gonna just keep that there, go back. So you can scroll through all that right there. This is where you're gonna turn on your cruise control on and off your resume and your cancel and your set. And this is where you can adjust the following speed for your adaptive cruise control. We have our horn in front here. So you can go to the home button here. You're gonna see this screen here. So you can control that screen without taking your hands off the steering column if you want. And then you just, then we've got our voice commands on star. So if you need help, you can press that button your answer and hang up a phone call and your volume control. So here's a new feature. So all those cameras that I showed you when we were walking around the vehicle, they bring you this view of all your four cameras. So your front, your rear, and your two sides. So this is gonna be really important when we actually do the test drive and you'll be able to see um, pretty much everything around you, which is really nice. Again, a huge safety feature. Then we have the paddle for our transmission control. So reverse, drive, and push in for park. So here we've got our push button start. We can just press one to go to accessory mode, press it again to go to ignition mode, and then if you wanna start the vehicle, just put your foot on the brake, hold it in, it will start. Same way to stop it. So just put your foot on the brake and push the button. Now right below here is a favorite because this is another Firefly control panel here at the drivers at the dash, which is really nice. So you can turn your master lights on and off, your porch light. You have the ignition lockout on your awning. So if the ignition on is on, the, your awning will not come out. Your internet power button, accent lighting, inverter power button, tank heaters, water pump, and your water heater 110 volt button here. Along with your settings, screen brightness, auto dimming, cleaning mode, and control setup. So here's our control panel at the dash. You can go to your home screen here, and then you can touch screen, go through all of this. Now, one of the things that I really like is that say there's something in settings I like to get to often. I may wanna click here and then pull that so that it's a little bit more towards the beginning, and then just check it to lock it into its place. I do like the navigation that you get through Mercedes. It's very clear and detailed. You can also do Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on the system too, if you prefer to do that. So in our settings buttons here, I usually like to go to my assistance. You can go in here and you can adjust the tone of the sound for the alarm or alert that it's gonna give you. Your traffic sign assist lane at um, active lane keeping assist, active braking assist, attention assist, and blind spot assist. So this is just really a screen that you can add things, customize the screen how you want it, and then you can also add apps on this page here that are compatible with the Mercedes system. Then we have our quick rear camera, our telephone, our map, these are our quick buttons here, our radio, volume control, go back to home, power for the screen, quick access buttons, and then your scan and search um, for your radio. Below that, we've got the HVAC controls, fan speed, heat and cool, and then where you want that, uh, your AC button, your defrost, your hazards, your max uh, defrost, and then recirculate the air inside and then your rear defrost. This is great because you can 
open and shut the sliding door from right here up front. Then you've got your cup holders, four cup holders. And if you go down here, and you've got USB-C inputs here, 12 volt. And just below that, you'll see a little pocket right here. That's where you can reset your fob if you ever need to do that. You've got your cup holder here. So here in the center, we've got the um, input here for your USB-C for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And then you've got charging ports here, USB-C, and a wireless charging pad here. Cup holder and more storage here. Now this is one of my favorite new features. It's this digital, it's your camera display for your rear camera. So it gives you really clear picture. You're gonna be able to see it when we do our test drive and you're gonna absolutely love it. Just above that, we've got a storage compartment for your sunglasses. The service, this will connect you with the service person for Mercedes. This is your SOS in case of an emergency. Got our reading light for the driver. This is whether you want the light to come on or off, come on when you open the door. This is the light for this whole panel here. And then we've got the reading light for the passenger. Again, the attention to detail, they have wrapped the sun visor so that matches the rest of the van. And then the beautiful padded um, headliner here. Just looks amazing. So we have a nice storage compartment here in front of the passenger and then down below their seat they've got the container here. Inside here is where you have your jack. All right so I've gone ahead and put up the blackout shades. They're so easy. I'm just going to show you. They've got magnets in them so they stay on. I usually like to shut the door so it's just nice and secure but I can easily take that off and then they just fold right up. And they've got a little case for them. Now, the other thing that I love, that even with the blackout shades all up, I still have my exterior cameras. So I can pop these on, I can see the rear camera, I can see all four cameras. So again, if I don't wanna look out my window, if there's a sound out there and I'm not sure what it is, I can check out my cameras first. All right, so now to my favorite part, we finally get to go on the test drive. So we get to see how this four cylinder diesel engine works. I've got my turn signal on my cameras I can see all around me and well let's head out so one of the first things I noticed that I absolutely love is the rear view mirror so look how clear and crisp that picture is you know that's one of the things that you kind of got used to in a class B not being able to have that nice picture and now with the camera in the rear it's perfect I love it and then we've got the cameras here in front so I can see to the sides of me as well. Just really makes this very easy uh, to drive and keep me safe. So I mentioned how much I love this. Well, if you need to find out what the kids are doing the back of the RV or the back of the van, you just flip it and then it becomes your rear camera, just like a rear view mirror, just like it would in a regular van. So you can see what's going on in the back or flip it back up for the camera. So Mercedes, you get all the safety features, adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, lane keep assist, and then we've got the blind spot monitors. So lots of safety features to keep you enjoying the, your van safely for a long time. All right, so as we're driving along here, I wanted to show you with the decibel rater 68.7. So ni nice and quiet, no rattles as we're driving down the road here. I mean, extremely quiet, extremely smooth. You don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to drive a big RV. It's just like driving a van, actually, just like driving your Mercedes, just a little bit bigger. Uh, very comfortable. So what are you waiting for? You need to come to National Indoor RV Centers. We'd love to let you test drive, take one out for um, a little road test, see if it fits your needs. Um, but we are there ready and waiting to help you. So I'm sure you're wondering what this luxury van would cost you. So current MSRP is 271325. If you're wondering how much I can sell it to you for, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. And remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less with National Indoor RV Centers. We'll make it super easy. The great thing about this is that it's an RV, so you can finance this for 20 years. So really, what are you waiting for? I can't tell you how many customers I talk to um, on a weekly basis that say they wish they'd started into the RV and lifestyle sooner. So don't have any regrets. Give us a call and let's get you on the road in a beautiful 
patriot. If you've liked this video, please hit the like and subscribe. You can also check out my protein fire suppression system, our paint and body um, video, and our AIM Club. All inclusive motorhome club. We want you to come travel with us and have a great time. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.